Okay, everybody, we are here at 13222 Sunfish, the neighborhood I like. Uh, this particular town, uh, it's a little higher crime than some of the other areas, but you're so far out here, someone would have to make a special trip out here to commit a crime, because it's way out uh, on, it, you're out surrounded by canals. There's a canal right over there, there's a canal right over there, there's only one road that goes in and out. So it's not a gated community, but it's kind of like being in a gated community. This house, I find adorable. Uh, it looks like it hasn't been touched for 40 years. And, and I mean that in the best possible way. Uh, if you like that style, then good to go. If not, I'll understand. But it's got this cute, old-fashioned uh, facade. It's got these cute, old-fashioned uh, raily things with the pumpkin on it. Um, when you go inside, it's all consistent with that style. This uh, This textured painted uh, thing, these columns, it's all consistent with that sort of antique style. You've got this nice old-fashioned door. You go inside, uh, you've immediately got that kitschy country blue color with the wood paneling down below. I love it. If you go to the left, you've got the same kitschy country blue, which again, I love it. If you guys don't like it, you can just repaint it or redo it. These built-in cabinets are nice. This could be used as an office, obviously. Have a desk right here. Or you could use it, this could be your dining room. Uh, there's no signs of any discoloration or leaks or problems. The, everything looks like it's been really well maintained. When I walk around, I don't see any, there's just no glaring problems. Uh, there are a couple funny little things. Uh, there's a fuse box here. I don't know if this is an actual functional fuse box or not. We would need to look into that. It might be fine, um, but it's just one potential question. You've got a closet here on the left, and you've got a closet here on the right. So this is a nice, big, functional room. I like it. Uh, here, you've got one of the main bathrooms, or actually, I think this may be the bathroom. Uh, everything looks good. Everything appears to work. You've got this same uh, <laughs> old-fashioned blue and yellow theme, which again, if you don't like it, you can paint over it, but if you find it adorable, then just go with it. The washer and dryer are here. Uh, one other potential question that I wasn't able to answer is whether it could potentially have polybutylene pipes. The um, water tank is down here. Usually I look for polybutylene as where the the uh, where the water tank connects, but I couldn't get down there to look at it, so I don't know about that. Now, if there is polybutylene, you just use that as a negotiating tool and uh, tell your seller, hey, I'm not willing to pay as much because I think there's polybutylene, and you use that as a negotiating tool. Uh, we'll go out to the pool in just a second. Here's the kitchen. It's clean, it's white, it's nice. No problems with it. All the appliances appear to work. Again, I looked under here. Uh, no signs of any leaks. I also wasn't able to tell whether it's polybutylene or not. So, I genuinely don't know. Um, everything looks good. As far as I can tell here, you've got a cute little closet. Which, of course, would be like a pantry or something. Um, they've done some funny little build-ins here, which are fine. You can rip them out if you don't like them, or you can leave them in. Uh, same thing here, cute little build-ins. There's a lot of little kitschy little uh, elements. Here is the other bathroom. Uh, again, everything looks like it hasn't been touched in 40 years, but I mean that in the best possible way. Uh, you've got all these vintage colors and vintage textures. There's no sign of any leaks or damage or water intrusion or anything on the ceiling. Everything appears to work. Uh, even the carpets. I know I, you would rip up the carpets. I would rip up the carpets too, but even the carpets are pretty nice. Uh, I've been looking for a place to kind of sneak my hand under and pull up a corner of the carpet and see what's underneath it, and I haven't been able to yet. They're all pretty well um, tacked down, so... Oh, I might be able to get one here. So this looks... Okay, so this is a concrete under here. Oh, this is nice. Actually, this is the old-fashioned, um, dang, this is such, 
such a blast from the past. I forget what they call that, but that's the old um, 70s style flooring. I bet they have that. Oh, it's called Terrasso. That's it. I bet if they've got it in the closet, they've got to have it everywhere. Oh, gosh, look at this. Old-fashioned Terrazzo floors. These will last forever. And uh, if you like them, they're just great. Nice corner closet. Uh, mirror, doors. Cute. Um, Old-fashioned ceiling fan. Get rid of it if you don't like it. Keep it either way. Again, uh, no signs of any leaks. No signs of any damage. Um, oh, Terrasso floors. That's going to be so cute. You guys are going to love... Somebody's going to love this place. Um, so here's the bedroom. We've got two bedrooms on this side. One of them's pretty big. One bathroom on this side. Front room. Tiled room in here that can be either an office or a dining room, whatever. Heading out to the pool. And I... Um, pool and I all looks good. Uh... The pool is functional. Pool equipment is over here. Uh, there's a shed that's locked there. Don't know what's in that. Uh, no holes in the screens. You've got this nice little shed over here with the cute old-fashioned eagle on it. Um, that's where you keep your lawn stuff, your uh, pool stuff. Neighbors appear to be taking relatively good care of their yard. They've got um, squash, spinach, looks like some kale or maybe some Brussels sprouts going on. So clearly somebody next door is taking care of their stuff. Uh, you've got an area out here that you could garden. Um, the All the neighboring seawalls look really solid. Your seawall is difficult to see because it's got vegetation in front of it. So I can't actually tell if this seawall is good to go. But I know all the neighboring ones are. That one's good. That one's good. This one's very good. Uh, the water's a little bit down right now. Um, but this dock is solid. It's a solid floating dock. Everybody appears to have a floating dock. There's a couple of ducks. Hello, ducks. Um, somebody's been trapping some crabs. There's a crab trap. Uh, you're on a corner lot, which I like. So you've got roads over there and roads over there as well. And behind you, there's the canal. So it's secluded and yet not secluded in a, in a way that, that appeals to me. I, I don't know if it's going to appeal to you guys or not. I hope it does. Uh, you got a nice mature palm tree. You could rip out all this vegetation or you can leave it. Uh, you just you want to get someone to take a look at this seawall maybe, although, I mean, that's up to you. Uh, it looks good to me, to my untrained eye. Uh, and of course, you'd need a special inspector to inspect that because your standard inspectors don't do uh, seawall inspections. That's not part of their purview. Uh, you've got this neat little privacy screen here with some uh, relatively mature hibiscus growing in front of it. Coming on around. Hose windows. Uh, this is a really secure, decent buy. Um, we'll look into a few things like how likely is it that this area would flood. Uh, it's relatively high. Uh, you can see it rises up a, a good foot from the street. Um, so I guess it wouldn't really get flooded. It would get um, potentially uh, inundated by a storm surge. That, that would be what you would worry about, is not that it was going to flood from rain, but that it would uh, occasionally inundate from a storm surge. Um, there's no good place to look at the roof, although I believe the roof is 10 years old, so it's relatively uh, new. Actually, I'm wrong. I could get up the, the roof right here. That's easy. Um, oh yeah. Yeah, this looks totally decent. The ridge vents appear good. I don't see any obvious discoloration. Even the flat part of it's pretty solid looking. Um, here's all your your stuff, your cable, your inputs, your outputs. Um, that looks good. Here's that door that goes into that uh, big bathroom. Here's your neighbor. I think that's it. 
Uh, like I said, I find it delightful. Uh, if you guys find it delightful, then we could very definitely make an offer. And if you don't find it delightful, we'll just look for something else.